you're already dancing over here. I see you. Uh, <laughs> right now, tickets are on sale for Time Magazine's number one show of the year, Matilda the Musical. It runs through the 16th at the Aronoff Center. It's based on, of course, the novel by Roald Dahl. It tells the story of a girl who uses her sharp mind and vivid imagination to take a stand and change her own destiny. And one of the show's stars, Keisha Fraser, joins us in the studio this morning to talk about the show. Good you heard morning. the music and you're yeah, already, you're already up and moving. Look kids on stage. I just love them. <laughs> well, well and you, you know what? And that mm -hmm. can be a challenge, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes to work with young people. You've certainly got a, a lot of young people in the show. Is it fun to kind of take off their energy it's a little bit? It's a lot bit? of fun. Um, to be honest, I pretty work pretty exclusively with all the Matildas. So yeah. I'm never on stage with the rest of the kids. They're always in classroom scenes and I'm always in library scenes. Okay. So I'm always with the Matilda, but I love them. I have so much fun with them backstage. How many Matildas are there? Oh, we've got three. Yeah, there's three Matildas. <laughs> yes, okay, we've got three, three Matildas. Matilda, Matilda, Matilda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we you got tell three. them all apart? That's no problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. Good. And I work with a different one every night. So yeah. it's really wonderful. It's really fresh. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were talking about that a little bit during the break. Because mm -hmm. certainly you're going to get a lot of kids out there in the audience. But there's mm -hmm. stuff that the grown-ups maybe you're going to catch the kids aren't going to catch and vice versa. Absolutely. The show runs through the gamut of emotions and scenes and colors and lighting for everybody. So it's good for children. It's good for their parents. It's good for their grandparents, anybody above and in between as well. <laughs> You'll find something that you love in the show. And a, and a pretty good uh, anti-bullying message that kind of resonates throughout the show. Absolutely. It's a lot about standing up for yourself, standing up for your friends, standing up for what's right, yeah. and making sure that you put everything right. It's got to be fun mm -hmm. to take a, a piece by Roald Dahl and, and kind of play with that, because he's he's a different kind of guy. When you when you get into the yep. books, you know, different. I mean, you know, you know, if it's Charlie and Chocolate Factory or BFG he's or, or Dark, or all of them. Dark yeah. is, yeah. All, all of them have, like, go somewhere different than right. you're expecting them to go. Um, so, And you'll see a lot of that on the stage, you know? There's yeah. a lot of like laughing and happiness and fun throughout the songs and then certain characters come in and it just takes a little bit of a deep turn and Matilda and her friends and everybody has to figure out how to deal with that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And now I know as you, as you go around the country, you're probably working with different organizations. I know in town you're doing uh, crayons to computers. Yep. Um, it's got to be, I, I would think for you, sort of special as well to be helping in that way. You're not only bringing entertainment to people, but yeah. you're, you're helping out some organizations Absolutely, too. especially playing, uh, you know, being the character that plays the librarian. Right. I imagine that kids are coming into the library <laughs> and coloring and drawing and everything all the time and they need those supplies. And so yeah. it's just great that at every show that we have an opportunity for people to bring stuff that they're not using anymore for somebody else to use. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I know it's hard when you're going town to town and you're different places. Have you gotten to do anything while you've been in Cincinnati yet? Anything that's inherently Cincinnati yet? Inherently Cincinnati. No, I am looking forward to Chile, but I'm saving that for next. I'm saving that for Easter Sunday. Okay. That's going to be my Easter Sunday <laughs> That's meal. That's going to be your special guest, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to that next week, but I haven't done Good. anything okay. else inherently Cincinnati yet. But as long as you take care of the I've chili. still got another 10 days, so. You got time. Yeah. You got time. Mm -hmm. Keisha, thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks so much. It. And we'll get more information, of course, about Matilda the Musical up at local12.com.